Hey Moddies, RC Ninja here. How are ya? Look, we've done all the work to our drift chassis. We've done the mods, we've done the opening bonnets, we've done a lot of cool stuff. But what I've always wanted to have is a support vehicle. Something I can use to tow a trailer, later details on that, to bring my car to the track, make it look real cool, support vehicle. So what I've got here is my Traxxas Slash. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that into an F-150. Got some of these. Right I've got the trenches. I went with the trenches because the track detail is a little bit more realistic. And what I really want to do, it's a show truck. It's going to be a show piece. So I just want to make it as realistic as I possibly can. I'm going to go with a black and some white highlights on it. You've seen me all paint before. You've seen me do this kind of stuff. So basically, let's time lapse it all and see how it ends up. Here we go, I've given them a quick wash on the inside, made sure they're all flat, and I've got to go and put these back in. Now, you should spend a little bit of time putting these back in, make sure they sit in correctly, just massage them around a little bit. It takes a bit of time. Now, this is going to be a shelf queen or a show truck, so I really want to take my time and make sure that it sits in there all nicely just massage it in don't want any bumps or anything like that you will get a little bit on here but it's all going to be okay so we just massage that in make sure it's sitting in there nice and even all the way through comes round Lovely. All four wheels are in there. The foam, tire foam is in there nice and neat. Looking good. We can go ahead and slide these in. One thing you should check, if they don't have these vent holes in them, you should cut a couple of vent holes in there to assist with the breathing, but these ones have the vent holes already in there, so we can go ahead and slide these in. Now, what we want to do is we want to actually make sure it's sitting how it will sit before we glue it. So just make sure they're all sitting in the grooves and how you want it to sit. It's nice. And again, on the other side, we do the same. Be gentle, take your time. A little bit of time here is definitely going to save you a lot of time in the long run. Alright, so we've now got it sitting where we want to sit it. We can go ahead and glue. Now, I don't use necessarily the tyre glue. If I did have tyre glue, I would use it. But basically, any glue that is not too quick drying. The problem with quick drying is sometimes it'll dry where you don't want it. You want to be able to massage it around to make sure you get the glue in the right spot uh, and you can get a nice neat finish. So the easy way to start is we'll just take the glue lid off and we'll just lift a little bit at a time. So and we'll spray a little bit of glue in there. And then we will massage it in so it sits how it should be. Wipe off any of the excess and then progress our way around. Go 
one side glued and we do the same on the other. There you go, one tile glued, three more to go. They have four wheels all glued, all looking sweet. Now what I will do is I put some rubber bands around it just while the glue sets, just to try and hold it in as best shape it possibly can. You know, I don't know whether it works or it doesn't work, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I wish I did have some bigger bands, which would have given it some more pressure, but they all look pretty good. We can start putting it together. Now things never fit perfect, so sometimes you're going to have to make some adjustments. This took me a little bit of time, but it's worth it when you've got it sitting right.
So there you are moddies, we've got the RC car mod support vehicle now. Next video is going to be a trailer, so I need a trailer to support vehicle. It doesn't support the team unless it tows the drift car. So I'm going to have to build a trailer. But until then, do down.